traditional African society, adult learning was viewed as holistic learning for life and work and formed the foundation of many African societies. It was used as a process of breaking down barriers and of combating social exclusion. With the current transitions taking place in Africa, less emphasis is being placed on adult learning. The issue of how adults learn in different societies and the philosophy that guides the adult learning process in the workplace is an important theme for adult education and human resource development. I was shy to speak with someone who, who speaks English well. The first time when I come here, I don't understand nothing. The BEDS program changed my life very much. I can go anywhere in the world. We've identified in South Africa that many employees have very low and in some cases no schooling. Um, and today we're giving them that opportunity to, to become um, uh, literate in English as well as in, in, in the numeracy levels. My name is Chingi Matabata, I am in grade 5. I think education is very important because if I go to school, I can get very good marks and one day go to university. The initial problems was that the people were not attending because they, Abit wasn't on the mine, it was in town. We brought it to the employees and they don't need to take time off. They basically are on the job and then they, they, they take an, an hour or two hours off, okay. they come to the class, they do the work and they go back to work immediately. A sentence, okay? Right. I have said that a simple pass after which you are... From my experience, I have been a teacher for the past seven years. I have taught in a primary school. Uh, the difference is that with adults, they are, when they don't understand, they are not afraid to ask. Previously, I was not so good to, to read and write, but up to so far, I can even communicate well with the managers. For our program, it helps a lot, especially in our employees, because they can be able to communicate well during the, uh, the interviews, and some of them, they got the positions because of the good improvement from ABED. The possessive programs. Today, I'm quality control because of ABET. I can read my multimeter from a, a continuity of electricity. I can measure the, the plate if I want to do. I can see and understand correctly what I'm doing with computer because firstly, and even ABET helped me to go and attend the, the computer where on my position I used to communicate on a daily basis with the manager, the production manager and the foreman, and helps me on how to do the report. It can be through communication, it can be through writing. We say Jingo passed his ABET level 4. That's a first sentence, right? It is very successful at, at Havercroft Mine. I am very proud of the ABET project and what we've achieved with it. For, for employees to have an uh, education and to be able to communicate properly in, in a certain language was for us a big help on the mind. Uh, it improved a lot of things, especially on the safety. The, the employees can be able to read the signs, the safety signs. I am very proud to uh, to be part of a program as such and to hear employees um, say such things as they're capable and independent and able to go to the bank and manage their finances 
etc. It tells me that the Abbott program is more than just a corporate program, it extends into the personal lives of employees. With a population of about 120 million, Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa and the largest unit of people of African origin in the world. Nigeria's inadequate commitment over the years to pursue the development of adult education as a strategic objective, as well as an instrument for national development, has been one of the major drawbacks to the country's efforts to pull itself out of poverty. Underscoring the role of education in contemporary society, School Hunters proposes an adult education agenda for Nigeria, which includes adult education, adult learning, development education, Nigerian education, and entrepreneurship education. You know, it's like something that no one can ever take away from you to learn how to read. We are a life family, you know, and she will work with you hard, very hard. She won't yell at you or she'll take her time and she will work with you and she'll get you through it. I could, I could pick up my Bible and I could read it. You know, it, it, it's, it feels good. That's all, like I said, all you have to do is take the first step to uh, come out, don't be afraid, you know, just take the first step. No one will laugh at you, no one will make fun at you. That's all you gotta do is take the first step. And they, they will be there with open arms and they will help you. According to UNESCO Institute for Statistics 2004, adoption of the policy on adult literacy, eight years after the literacy rate for Nigerians, 15 years and older is about 66%. There has hardly been a sustainable, viral, and coherently comprehensive set of programs demonstrating government's commitment to adult education as a strategic priority in Nigeria's development. Although the National Commission for Mass Literacy, Adult and Non-Formal Education was established in 1990 to monitor and coordinate adult education programs, as well as to conduct research related to the development of adult and non-formal education in the country. Adult education continues to operate mainly as piecemeal activities that are not integrated into a coherent, purposeful strategy in pursuit of a national development vision. When you can't read, you, you, you turn to crime. Going to jail, it's not bothering you. It don't bother you because you don't have no education, then you have everybody making decisions for you. And I used to look at people and I used to say, well, if I had the education that they have, and some of them, you know, are not doing nothing with the education, but if I had the education that they have, that I could move mountains, you know. I used to just dream that of having the education. Many government-sponsored adult education activities have been unstable due to inadequate funding, owing largely to a historical lack of passion and vision for adult education as both a strategic goal and an instrument for national development. Adult education curricula are hardly forward-looking or responsive to the strategic needs of the economy or to the personal, social and political development needs of the vast majority of Nigerian adults. Frameworks for organizing and delivering programs are hardly innovative or forward-looking. The lack of inadequacy of physical and instructional facilities in government-owned adult education training centers is indicative of the neglect and marginal status of adult education. Inadequate commitment to the development of adult education is not unique to Nigeria. It is a typical phenomenon in most African countries. A number of factors account for the underdevelopment of adult education and education generally in Africa. They include the constraints of funding, 
lack of continuity of policy, increasing huge debt, problem of gender and language. Every now and then, we are faced with some simple questions. How do we get the best home tutors, best teachers and best schools for our children? School Hunters can give you that answer when you visit our website www.schoolhunters.com.ng Register as a member today and gain access to qualified teachers or home tutors to assist you with your educational needs, irrespective of the field or subject, and at your convenience. Qualified teachers who wish to connect to prospective clients can also go to the website www.schoolhunters.com.ng and register as tutors. At School Hunters, we also provide other educational support services like general printing of school materials, organized exhibitions and capacity building workshops, video coverage for events as well as enrollments and placement services for students so do visit us on our website www.schoolhunters.com.ng school hunters everything school research has shown that the government cannot do it all successfully implementing adult literacy requires collaborative effort by the government and as well the private sector, well-meaning citizens that are willing to be part of national development through education. However, I discovered that many adults also have a large role to play. Some adults believe that after spending most of their childhood and even part of their adulthood in the classroom, these adults can't wait to get as far from school as possible. There's nothing they want to do less than take an online course or pick up a non-fiction book. School Hunters is here to change that by pointing out exactly why continuing our education as adults is so important and even fun. Here is the story of Obisekwe Okechuku, who thought it wise to contribute his own quota by promoting adult literacy in Nigeria. For Esther Ibaha was often very early in life. Without her parents, she missed out of formal education. But at 58, Esther is now prepared to abandon her hope to read and write someday. Her determination is now paying off. She's gradually catching up, and now she can read Bible verses on her own. I didn't know I didn't go to school. I have more mother. I don't have mother, no father. But now I try to learn now so that we will help me to read my Bible. That is my problem. Esther is getting a second chance from this adult literacy centre in Portacot. The school is the brainchild of this man, Obisike Okechiku. Okechiku has 13 of such centres spread across Portacot City. A graduate of petroleum engineering, Okechiku saw the problem of illiteracy among these people and decided to do something about it. I want to wipe out illiteracy in Nigeria. And they say charity begins at home. And that is why I have started within River State. I have a school in Akwaibo. I have in Bayasa. Owere, we have been there. We want to expand. South, south, south is from there we progress. Okechiku's teaching methodologies are based on simple techniques that he developed and completely different from a national framework and guidelines for adult literacy in Nigeria. I developed a system, a table, in tables from my book that, that is very simple, easy for them to catch. So that is why I teach them from simple to complex. The sole intervention of one man with little resources and expertise is helping thousands to free themselves from the shackles of illiteracy. Thousands of people have been trained, more than 10,000. In fact, yearly, we train more than 5,000 people as it stands now. No, here in River State, we have been drumming into the ears of people that cares to listen, that government cannot provide everything. Even in education, there must be individual effort, there must be NGO effort, there must be government, you know, the resources of government are limited. 
So there is a limit to what they can do at any given year. Thirty year old trader Umo Davis is a student here. She's learning quickly and her progress is helping her keep proper record of her sales. Yes, I've been, I'm learning how to read and write and improving in that. Making me to improve and I know I've improved very well. So, and I'm even staying to learn more as I'm not dropping back. Another student, Oye Mochi Peace, hopes to make it to the university from the Adult Literacy Center. At the time, I pick up a book. I said, now my mother can say, my daughter, come and do this for me, or come and write a letter for me. I can able to do that, which I don't know how to do before. So if I see any of my friends that don't know anything, I advise them, please come and join me so that you know what I have already known. This man, Paul Chiku, made a few mistakes growing up. His truancy has turned costly. But now, as a preacher, Chuku is not too shy to retrace his steps. Going back to school has helped him to oversee his growing congregation. Before I will get to their need, I must be a little bit educated. Because I discovered that without me being educated, I will not be able to carry off these people that are coming around to me. The school is proud of his accomplishments after 10 years. What started small from a father's backyard has grown big, helping many like Esther to overcome the challenge of illiteracy. Do you own a good school? Or is it a school bookshop? Are you planning a school event? Do you offer educational products and services? And do you want the world to know? Then you can advertise on School Hunters with Shola Okoju to be seen and heard. You can also advertise on our website www.schoolhunters.com.ng for that added visibility. Terms and conditions apply. For further information, call 0809-082-1720 or email us at enquiry at schoolhunters.com.ng School Hunters. Everything school. Learning should not be reduced to education provided by schools or higher education institutions only. There are important benefits to adult learning. For example, work-based adult training has important economic returns. Achieving qualification during adulthood improves women's changes of re-entering into the labor market. Participation in adult learning has positive effects on changes in life satisfaction. Education is a means for increasing knowledge. A popular slogan is, knowledge is power. This is a true statement. Knowledge empowers people to become leaders, to be more productive and to become the teachers of others. Education allows for the acquisition of knowledge at a speed that surpasses relying on experience for knowledge. When a woman is educated, even her children, she will fight for her children to be educated. When you are educated, you know how to take care of your family, you know how to take care of your children, you know what is good and what is bad. Education is important because quality education improves the student skill set as knowledge increases. The recent recession has convinced many adults that pursuing more education to improve skills and credentials may not only be wise, but may be a necessity in a shrinking job market. In a complex modern democracy, citizens must be knowledgeable. Research has also shown that older people who keep their minds active suffer less dementia and other memory-type diseases in old age. In a complex modern economy, workers must be up-to-date on new techniques and technologies related to their job. Most parents are illiterate. And when teachers give the children homeworks or assignments, whatever, for the parents to help them to do, they don't understand. And I feel that this program, literacy program, is something that is needed to help the children. If the parents are educated, they will help their children well 
in their learning process. Others, if the parents are not, the children will not be helped. And there is a lot of, um, I would say, a lot of children who are not better educated because the parents are not educated. And when they bring their prog uh, homeworks and assignments, they just find it very hard to get what they, what they want to get from the parents. So this program is something I feel it, uh, literacy will help not only the adults but the children as well. So, if education itself is important, adult education is of course important, no matter how it comes. Evening. Evening. May I ring that up for you? Yes, please. Have a good evening. Hey, Tubbs, mm. I read your book. You read my book? Mm -hmm. 